How much of what's going on in the world today do you think is happening because of human influence? What's being communicated through music, television, politics, artists, actors, athletes, the media? It's all meant to influence. Who are you being influenced by? Who are you being influenced by? Who are you listening to? Reading? Watching? Singing to? Studying? Who are you letting in your head? Is it God? How much of the time is it God? Is it the Holy Spirit influencing you or is he counter-influencing who you're already influenced by? I mentioned it with my young adults on Friday and with my youth a couple of Wednesdays ago. There is so much dumb stuff in here. So much useless, meaningless, stupid stuff that takes up residency in my brain. I can quote entire movies. Two and a half hour movies. I can tell you every year, the Christmas story. I could tell you. I could tell you. Not only that, other movies. I can sing songs. Bad songs. With bad stuff. Because I wasn't always Christian in my, in, my, in my past life. It takes up residency in here. I could sing it. I know it. And if I hear one of those songs on today, you know what happens? Is, is, is I, I, it, it does something in here. And I almost like, it, I get taken back to who I was and where I was. And if I start singing this, I start to feel it. Listen to some of these old hip-hop songs before I was saved. Man, I feel gangster. Like, I, I feel oh, I'm so hood because I'm from the south side of Chicago, okay? So that's what we listen to, okay? Or I'll listen to some heavy metal or some rock, and, and, and I'll envision myself walking down the aisle ready to get in an octagon and fight, which I, I would never, but I, I, I feel it. The music is stuff that takes up residency is powerful. I'm being, it's, it's, it's an, it has an influence on me. Now, what would it look like if I could swap out that meaningless, stupid stuff that leads to death with, with some truth? Like, what, what, what if I could swap out some, some, some fake, uh, false songs with some truthful psalms? How, how it would influence me. Get God's word in here in the same way that I'm influenced to think I'm gangster or I'm walking into an octagon. Now I walk into a room and I'm like, who's getting saved in here? The power of God is here. I'm unashamed of the gospel. Right? What if I walk around and, I, and I, I'm just influenced by truth? Man, God is always with me. He'll never leave me or forsake me. Every one of my needs will be provided for. Before the formation of the world, he knew me. He called me. He chose me. He saved me. My salvation is secure. I'm guided and protected. I'm loved more than, more than I could ever imagine. And there's nothing that will separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. What if I, that stuff just takes and it just oozes. And I'm just walking around so influenced by truth. Now we amen. And we nod and we agree because it's true and it makes sense. But what are we going to do when we leave here? Are we going to take the necessary steps to start washing out this dumb stuff, this useless, meaningless stuff, and fill it with truth? That's what I want to do. I, just, I, I, I wonder, and I'm sick of wondering what it would be like if I did this, if we did this, what the church would look like. 